Those calls for safety come after a 17 year old from Louisiana tragically drowned yesterday evening. It happened near the Pleasure Pier and Beach Patrol says the rough water conditions are directly to blame for the boy's death. Our Gage Golding went out on the beach to talk about rules every visitor should be aware of. Yeah, this is the fifth drowning here on Galveston Island this year, and it might seem like a beautiful bluebird day, a perfect day to go for a swim, but this is still elevated chop, especially after we saw that storm surge from Tropical Storm Alberto yesterday, that 17 year old going in the water and at some point uh, going under the water and not being able to come back out despite lifeguards best efforts to get them. Um, and, and like you see, the beaches, it's busy today. Certainly it's no 4th of July out here, but there are still a number of people all throughout the beach, including the pleasure pier area, which means there's a lot of watchful eyes kind of taking care of them, if you will. Lieutenant uh, Austin Kerwin joining us here with uh, the lifeguards. I want to ask you this. It's not a cloud in the sky. This really seems like a perfect beach day, but you're flying a yellow flag. Why? So we fly yellow flags to note some kind of water and some kind of current that's in the area. So we have three flag colors, green, yellow, and red, green, flat, yellow, little rough, a little bit of current, and then red flag as we were flying yesterday. There's a lot of energy in the water, big waves, and a lot of current. So we fly the yellow flag to note that Stay close to shore, make sure you're swimming near a lifeguard. And you kind of said it there, even though it, it looks like a good day, there's still things happening out there that, you know, the regular person might not be able to, to see, right? Yeah, so the beach environment is always changing. It's not like a swimming pool, it's not like a lake. It changes all the time. Um, so what we always recommend is when you come down to the beach, find a lifeguard. You're going to know they're there because they're going to be in their tower, and that tower is going to have flags raised with the condition flags on it. So go talk to that lifeguard. He'll be happy to tell you where to swim, where not to swim, and keep you in a safe place. Lieutenant, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I want to show you the biggest sign that you can look for right here. It's these guys up here. If you're coming to swim, you're coming to the beach, look for one of them in the shack, in the lifeguard stand there. The best way to tell is they actually have the flags up. That's something that I didn't even realize, uh, and I love this job because you learn new stuff every single day. So if you're coming to the beach, you want to go to the safest spot of the beach, or you want to at least have somebody looking over you just in case something happens, you always want to look for one of those uh, guard shacks that has the flags up and somebody in there. And, you know, the lieutenant kind of talked about it. Go up, ask them questions. If you have them, they'll be able to help you out. I'm on Galveston, Gage Golding, KPRC2 News.